In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom list and its corresponding form. So before we get there, let's talk about what a list is. Um, a list is a place to store data. So the data that is organized in terms of columns and rows. So that kind of a sounds like a table, you know, for example, in Excel, you have a table of data, uh, like a sales items and, and things like that. In, in database, you could have a table, but a list is not quite um, robust as a database table. Of course, you can export it to a database application, then you can uh, use it as a, a data and create something more meaningful information out of it. But um, it's more about storing data um, in SharePoint. And uh, form is, is kind of a window to the list. So you can add or feed more uh, records or the list, in this case, list items into the list, or you can view it as well. So let's start. In the uh, SharePoint website, go ahead and click on the lists uh, link from the quick launch bar and click on the create button. And from the category, you can click on, uh, I'm sorry, the filter by, uh, click on the list and then um, select a custom list. Custom list is good because uh, it gives us a certain flexibility in terms of creating uh, not just the list itself, but also creating a form for it. So go ahead and type the uh, list name. Let's say this is for new faculty members. So I'll say new faculty and click on create. So, it created a, a list, and then if you click on the new item, it'll open up a form for that list. So, by default, it has only one field showing up. So, it doesn't do much uh, meaningful work, so we're going to have to modify it. So, let's go in the... Uh, uh, list tab and click on this uh, create new column um, tool click on it and let's say I'm going to add a new field called name and then choose the option for a person or a group and then it'll the SharePoint will modify the, the view a little bit um, the person or group option is for uh, linking the, the user database. So in your SharePoint, there's a database, just like an Outlook, um, a database of all the users. And you can use that for um, putting the names. So, I think it'll be a lot clearer once you see it. All right, and then you come down here. Um, this form, I guess uh, I'll say we just uh, keep this default as they are and then go ahead and click on OK. And then now let's take a look at what the new form looks like. There, there's the title, and the title would be, let's say, New English Faculty, perhaps. And then come down here, you have this uh, check names or the browse buttons added to it. And then, as I type, let's say, my name, yun.mo, and then uh, check names. And now you can recognize that that name is in the list and you can go in and click on save and that new item new list item is added to it so you can click on it 
to view it and you can edit it, you can delete it, you can do many things. Um, so as you add more, you have more list items. And that's basically it.